Alright boys, we are back and it's time to continue year 6 with our Vancouver Canucks. Pretty good record so far considering what we've gone through in the uh, previous 5 years. 14-11-4, want to try and make the playoffs this year but we don't know if it's possibility just yet. I was asking you guys in the last video, you know, what should we do to this team to try and improve it. A lot of different opinions, a lot of different comments. Um, and I'll just get you guys caught up. For the most part, our offense is absolutely fine right now. We're scoring goals. We're scoring enough goals that we could be considered a playoff team. I'll show you guys quickly. Goals four per game, right? We're fourth in the NHL, so we're scoring enough goals. Everything looks fine, even goals against per game. Uh, well, it's 22nd in the NHL, right? That, that, that needs to get a lot better. But I think the reason that is down there, our power play is fourth in the NHL, so our power play and our goal scoring is fine. But it's our penalty kill. Our penalty kill is really down there. 17th in the NHL. I think if you improve that, you'll improve your goals against. And since we're scoring enough goals with the starting goalie, I think if we can just fix that penalty kill, get at least top... If we can get top 10, I would love that, but at least the top 15, that I think would make us a playoff team for sure, okay? So I was asking you guys in the last video how we could improve our uh, our penalty kill, and uh, for the most part, hard to cane in on the points. That could be a good one, because Wisniewski is an offensive defenseman, and we can't use Pulak and Jones, because they're just not ready just yet, right? So uh, hard to cane in was my, I think, my fourth or fifth best offensive uh, well, not offensive, defensive player. Um, Druin was good, don't get me wrong. Druin has got like a 90, what, 97 for defensive awareness. So he is a good player to have out there. So, so, same with Ern and Suter and Saric. It was just that Hart to Kanan instead of Wisniewski. So I think I want to do that. Hart to Kanan. All right, let me just see if I can get someone with the right defensive stats. Uh, shot blocking, 80. Maybe there's somebody else who could have a better, like, full-on defensive category with shot blocking and stick checking. Hang, hang on, Tanev. Well, I got to use Tanev on the point. What am I talking about? Sarich. Uh, yeah, Sarich could play more of the point, I think. Well, 82. It's not that much better. Hang on. Let me just go through this. Earn, I think I want up front anyways. Yeah, Earn is like, yeah, you know, he goes up front. And then Suter. Uh, no, okay. Now, we'll leave Hart to Kanan on the point. All right. So, we'll go with uh, Suter and Earn. And Druin and Serge. The only thing I don't like about these uh, PK lines is we really don't have a face-off taker. Suter's like 69 for face-offs, and Serge is 69 as well. You know, it's not horrible. It's right there at 70, but, you know, you don't have any dominating face-off guys. You know, freaking Jonathan Druin's got 75 for face-off. Might as well just put him at the center. Adam Erm, what's his face-offs like? 75. I might as well just put these guys at the, uh, the face-off takers, right? I mean, I know they're wingers, but that doesn't matter. And it's individual stats, and the face-offs are a lot better. Yeah, I'm just going to do that. And you know what? I'm going to bring up... Uh, oh, no, no, no. I wanted Druin taking the face-offs. Yeah, yeah. What was Hart to Kanan's face-offs? I don't think it was that good. No, 60. No, no. We'll leave him on the point, all right? So our new penalty kill lines. Earn, Suter, Druin, and Sarich. And then uh, Suter, Earn, Wisniewski. No, we'll put in Hart to Kanan. All right? There you go. All right. And then all that's taken care of. We're going to we'll switch back to Goddard right now. All right, we'll start it again. And also, I was reading your comments. Some people saying, you know, get rid of... Uh, you don't need to get rid of Pulak because he's decent. But if you want to make the playoffs this year, you got to trade away... Uh, not necessarily trade away Jones, but move him down to the minors and trade for a top six defenseman. Uh, we've already gone over that. Remember at the beginning of the year, we had that goal where if we don't make the playoffs this year, whatever. We're still just going to play our rookie. So I'm sticking to that goal. If we don't make the playoffs this year, so be it. But I'm not going to try and go out there and trade to make the playoffs. That's not going to happen, okay? We're not doing that. If the team is good enough, the team is good enough. But I'm uh, I'm giving Jones the ice time, no matter what, all right? We agreed to that in the off season. So let's just stick to our goal. All right, we're going to play this year. No trades are going to happen unless we're clearly not a playoff team. Then we can trade away guys like Colburn and uh, and uh, Callahan, guys that we picked up at free agency just for some draft picks, okay? If we don't need them, we only signed them to one-year deals anyways, so we can do it. All right, but I'm not going to be moving Jones away. We got to play them. Oh, I know he's not going to get a lot of points. I'm, I know it's not going to help him with his uh, progression, but still, we got to just play him back there and see if our team can be a winning team with that kind of player because come next year, we're going to have to do the same thing, right, if he's not that good. So I just want to play this team now, stick to that goal that we had at the beginning of the year. I think we are good enough that we can be a playoff team. We just need to get on top of that PK. One more loss there, and I'll take, uh, what's his name out, Goddard. Put Bob back in. But I think we just got to get on top of that penalty kill. I think we should be a playoff team. I think we got enough good players here. And the defensive awareness of our forwards, man, should be good enough. I don't know, though. It's still early in the season. So, you know, like a three or four game losing streak can really affect that record. Let's see what our record looks like more around the All-Star break, okay? So in this video, I kind of just want to power through the simulation here. I want to talk a little bit about the playoffs. But every time I do, I forget about my goalie situation. <laughs> it's hard to multitask. 
Oh, but the Chicago Blackhawks, man, they they needed to win that game last night. And I think I'll, I'll bring you guys a uh, uh, our fantasy postseason update. Last night was the exact kind of game that I needed because the Boston Bruins lost. Like if we went up, if Boston went up three one in the series, then yeah, it's good for me. But I'm still like what 14 points behind Domsky. So last night was perfect because Boston got five goals. I think I got like eight or nine points, and Chicago won. So there's guaranteed another two games. I need that series to go like uh, what's it called? Uh, at least six or seven for uh, me to have a chance of uh, catching Domsky. So I'll bring you guys a, uh, what's it called? Did I already switch him out? I think I did. <laughs> Shit. Uh, yeah, I did. I must have. I'll bring you guys a uh, update video for the fantasy postseason later on today, okay? And there's a loss. There you go. There you go. Da, 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 da. I also want to, uh, I was considering bringing you guys, you guys can let me know. Do you guys want to hear me talk about the uh, the Man of Steel? I'm not too much of a movie going guy just because of the internet these days. I'll admit it, right? Like, <laughs> I'll, I'll search up movies online. Like, I'll wait, I don't know, a few months after they get released. Unless it's a really good movie that I've been waiting for and I really want to see it. Superman has been like, uh, or the Man of Steel. It's been like, uh, I, I, don't worry, you're not going to hear any spoilers right here. This is a spoiler-free kind of talk right now. So if you haven't seen it, you don't have to worry. Um, but the Man of Steel, you know, I was really hyped for it just because I love the Dark Knight trilogy. They use Christopher Nolan as a, uh, you know, a selling point in the uh, trailer. So I was really looking forward to this for like a long time now, at least a year. So uh, it's one of those movies that I spent money on, went to see, and uh, I don't know. I have a lot to say about the movie, so if you guys want to hear like a spoiler review, let me know. And uh, I was planning on going to see it again, just because I I, I got to see the movie twice. Movies today they're made to see twice. You know, if any have you have any of you guys ever seen Fight Club? Right, you watch Fight Club the first time around, you get it. It's a good movie, but then when you watch it the second time, it's a completely different movie, just because of the perspective. You know what's going on, so you see it all from a different. Again, the spoilers. I don't want to. If anyone hasn't seen Fight Club, but uh, yeah, I want to see the movie again. But if you guys want to hear just like a full-on spoiler uh, review of uh, The Man of Steel, let me know, cause I don't know. I really want to talk about it. <laughs> God damn, man, we keep on losing games now. All right, back to this game. Um, Let's see. Yeah, Goddard is in the net. I got to run with Goddard. I mean, we're getting close to that 500 mark now. 18, 17, and 6. God damn it, man. What's going on with this team? Um, all right. Let me just try a, a crazy run to the All-Star break. Let's see if we can get back on top here. All right. If not, I'm just going to go best line. Damn it. Losing again. I don't know what's going on here. It could just be the team. But, ah. Our team, like, when I compare us to other computer teams out there, I know we have a competitive team to other playoff computer teams. I know we do. All right, we have to. The only thing we don't have is that super stud, but we've gone up against other teams who haven't had super studs. And Jonathan Druin is, like, right on the cusp of being a super stud, so I don't buy that either. Come on now. We need Jonathan Druin to really start stepping it up. If we lose one more game before the All-Star break, in bad fashion, I'm going to go best lines and see what happens, all right? This is not good. I want to have some some friggin' some games between us, man. I want to get to the trade deadline and and think to myself that we're a playoff team. Come on, I don't want the season to be blown up before the All Star break, man. Come on, no more regulation losses. All right, the overtime losses are fine. Keep piling up those overtime losses. I'm fine with that. All right, done that trip to Russia. Let's send the scout back out. Uh, forwards. There you go. Uh, oh yeah, Shmirnov guy, top ten. So he, he retained his uh, four and a half star status. Offensive awareness 76, and it's in white. So this guy looks like he's a legitimate mid 70s four and a half star playmaker. Pretty good. Oh, excuse me. Pretty good player right there. Pretty good player. All right. I don't think I need to do any more scouting on him. Pretty much know the uh, tail of the tape. We'll go this guy. OHL four and a half star Ermin. Six weeks. There you go. All right. Uh, yeah, we'll keep on going here. What is it? Four more games before the All-Star break? Yeah, let's run with them. Let's run with them. Screw Bob. Let's run with Goddard. We need Goddard to win us some games here, man. Oh, there's a loss. That's a big loss, too. Regulation loss. Come on. Against Nashville. They're a good team. There you go. That's a win. Let's end it here. San Jose, or the second last game. Second last game for the All-Star break. Come on. Another win. Not a regulation loss. Not a regulation loss. Not a regulation loss. There you go. Big win. 5-4 to four victory. All right, I think one more game before the All-Star break. Come on, we'll just win this last game. Edmonton, come on, 24 wins. They're a pretty good team, it looks like. There you go. All right, solid. Solid. That's a solid start to this year. Absolutely. We're at the All-Star break. We are five games above 500 if you do not count the overtime losses. All right, so we're on a three-game winning streak right now. Thank God. All right, all right. So let's get up to the end of the All-Star or the beginning of the uh Oh, the period after the All-Star break. I think in this video we can uh, take it up all the way to the trade deadline. Then you guys can make another uh, 
assessment of our team, what we, what we should do. But you know what I'm thinking? Screw the rookies right now. Screw what I've set up. I think I should go best lines and allow players like Joe Colburn and Callahan to get some ice time to help us make those playoffs, right? I mean, we could do... It, they're still getting ice time, but I don't know. If we go on another three or four game losing streak, we're all of a sudden back up to around 23, 24 regulation losses. And that that's already like as much as I want to have at the end of the regular season because you got to count those overtime losses as well, right? We have more losses than wins technically right now. So we need to really start winning some regulation uh, games. And where are we? Yeah, Western Conference. What am I doing? Yeah, okay. So we sit in the East. I mean, sorry, the West in eighth spot right now. 56 points. But, I mean, you got Detroit, who's only one point behind us. San Jose, one point behind us. Chicago and Edmonton, two, uh, three points behind us. Okay, so we're not locked up here in the Western Conference. We are in control of our own destiny still, which is nice. But still, again, a little, a little bad streak here, and it all goes to shit. So what I want to do is, yeah, we can do a whole... Do I want to? Yes, I do. Yeah, okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to do any line changes just yet, but I want to check out the uh, team standing just to see if Hart to Kanan improved our uh, PK at all. All right, so hang on. Goals four per game. So we came down to the goals four per game, but we knew that was going to happen. Well, we didn't know that was going to happen, but um, it was early in the season, right? Our team was just scoring a lot. We didn't change anything offensively, so it was just coincidence that we had that many goals that early. But we're still, you know, better half of the league, so that's good enough for me. Goals against per game. Uh, 2.84, 25th in the league. No, that's not good enough, all right? So our goals against is still a problem. Power play percentage, wow, fell down to 15th in the NHL, 16.6%. So that could be a lot better. And our penalty kills, 17. Okay, so everything is kind of just trailing off here. This is more like the team that I thought we have. Uh, I'll go to, uh, no, I'll check that out at the end of the video for you guys, yeah. I think I'm going to go best lines if we start to lose some games. But, uh... Something about this team is just not working. It's just a bunch of young kids, you know? Like Sarich and Suter. I know they're 82s, but even Reinhardt and Bennett. Well, Bennett's a bit older, but all these guys, they got to get their poise up. They got to get, uh, I don't know. But we can bring up Hart to Kane and Colburn, Callahan and Cassian and use those guys in our top six to help us make the playoffs. And I'm going to do that if we lose two in a row. All right? So if we get to 21 regulation losses before... It gets, like, I don't know. I'm not going to put a number on it, but we're just going to run with it, okay? If, if I deem it necessary, I'm going to go to best lines and just uh, go best lines all the way up to the trade deadline to see if we have a chance, okay? But we're winning games right now. We're on a four-game winning streak. Let's just leave the lines the way it is, see what happens here, okay? I'm not going to take out Goddard for Bob. Let's just see what happens. So I'm tempted. If this is another regulation loss, I'm tempted to go best lines right like that, right away, okay? I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting. Uh, there's a win. All right, I'm going to leave him in there. Going to leave them in there. If they lose two in a row, I'm tempted to pull the, uh, pull the plug. But if they keep winning games like this, I'm going to leave the lines the way they are. All right, there's another win. So you got the two wins in a row again. So you can lose one, and I'm fine with it. All right. We're winning games here. There's another win. All right. Glad I didn't do West lines just yet. Again, our team may start to play better at the end of the season. Who knows? You never know how these things work. Come on now. All right, there's another win. All right, I'm liking it. I'm liking it. 29, 20, and 8. Now we're officially above 500. All right, we got officially more wins than losses. That's good. Come on, Edmonton, we can beat them. They're 25 and 25. We can beat them. Ah, oh, my God. All right, that's okay. Now let's see if we lose two in a row here. Now this has kind of put me in a little bit of a pickle because, damn, our team has done good now. Now I really don't want to uh, go best lines. But I will pull the trigger, man. We are a playoff team this year, it looks like. I will pull the trigger. Phoenix is a good team. We're probably going to be competing with them for a playoff spot. There you go. That's another big win. Answer back with a loss with a win. In regulation, too. St. Louis, all right. Yeah, we'll keep running with it. Let's keep running with it. They're doing good right now. They're doing good. we got a lot of right, um, overtime losses as well. That all we need is about 42 wins. We should be in good shape. Come on now. Keep it going. Keep it going. There's another win. All right. Our team just completely took control. I don't know what the hell happened here. I didn't make any changes. I made that one heart to Kanan change, simulated, didn't do the greatest, and then the all-star break happened, didn't do the greatest a little bit after that, and then all of a sudden we're on a friggin' a tear right now. All right, there's another regulation loss. I gotta keep control of this. Hang on, because we can have three regulation loss, a lot, a little, losses in a row right now. All right, hang on. Stop this. Stop the simulation. Stop the simulation. Stop it right now. I don't want to have three in a row. Please, thank you. Okay, good. So we had one loss, two losses, one more game before the trade deadline, 32-23-8. 
Okay, but if we lose one more, we're 32 and 32, basically. We have climbed the Western standings with 72 points now. All right, and we actually do have some space ahead of San Jose, Dallas, Edmonton, Chicago, St. Louis, wow, and L.A. Look at that, L.A. up to St. Louis or San Jose, 9 to 14, are all separated by, like, 1 point, 65 or 64 points. And they're all only, what, four points out of a playoff spot from Minnesota. So, you know, we do have a lot of space. We've created a lot of space on that little run that we went on. So good job, boys. After the All-Star break, we really put ourselves into a playoff position, okay? And you know what? Uh, yeah, I'll go one more game. Yeah, they, they've earned it. If we lose this game in regulation, I'm still okay. So I'll just, I'll, we'll go with it, okay? Then you guys can, yeah, we lost in regulation. That's okay. That's okay. It was still a good run. So let us go all the way up into the trade deadline here. Not the actual trade deadline. We'll leave it right before it. Uh, I want to let you guys see our team and see what we can do. All right. So blah, blah, blah. Oh, scouting assignment. I didn't send them out. Hang on one second. Uh, forwards. I could actually use some defensemen too. So let me just scout defensemen. Is there any top 10 or top 5 defensemen? Top 10? Uh, not really. Uh, it could be a... Yeah, I'll, I'll just try it, whatever, six weeks. We'll just try a defenseman. All right, so we're at the trade deadline, boys. Our record is 32, 24, and 8. Looking pretty good for the Vancouver Canucks. Let's see where we sit in the Western Conference. So there you go. Uh, 72 points. We're only five points ahead of Chicago in ninth. So again, we still need to win some games. I'd say a solid, what, a solid pff, 10 games. Yeah, a solid 10 wins would give us a good 92 points, right? I'm not going to say that guarantees us to make the playoffs, but uh, it's it's looking pretty good if we get to 42 wins. I'm expecting a few more overtime losses as well. All right, so a good 10 wins out of the last 3, 7, uh, 10, 12, 15, 18. So out of the last 18 games, all we need to do is like win 10 of them, all right? So uh, that's a very doable uh, goal for the Vancouver Canucks here, okay? But should we make any trades? Here's the thing. Now, I know what I said before, but I'm still going to just open this up for you guys. Uh, team standings, just to see if we could improve our uh, playoff chances. You never know. Getting some depth even for injuries if they happen, right? Goals four per game, 2.69, so we're eighth in the NHL, so that's good. We're top 10. That's all I can ask for with this team. Goals against, uh, 21st. It has been doing a bit better since the last time we checked, but still not the greatest. Power play percentage, 10th in the NHL, so that's good enough for me. And penalty kill percentage, 19th. That is not good or enough. I want that top 10. All right, so again, our Achilles heel is goals again still. We're still a young team that allows too many goals uh, to be scored on our goalie. But that's what's going to happen as we get older, as this team gets older and our defensive awareness goes up. Um, all that stuff is going to be fixed, so don't worry about that. But for this year... It's actually been a pretty good year. I got to say, it's been a pretty good year. Forwards, Mackey, 57 points. Earn, 47. And Sam Reinhardt, 43. Look at that. Jonathan drew in on the, what's it called? On the first line. He's got less points than Sam Reinhardt. And he's getting power play time, first line time. Adam Earn has got more points than friggin' uh, drew in. So, I don't know. drew in's not pulling his end of, uh, or his weight. Uh, Suter, 30. Serich, 29. Yeah, look at all this depth score, uh, goal scoring that we have as well. Oh, yeah, everyone's basically scoring the same amount. Uh, defenseman, Edler, 32. Wisniewski, 25. All right, that's why we kept Wisniewski. Jones, 1 point in 64 games. <laughs> but he's only a minus 7, which is pretty good. You know, he doesn't get many points, and he doesn't allow many goals either, apparently. Uh, and goalies got our 2.57, so he really didn't steal us this season, right? It was our uh, players on front of the goalie. But still, uh, I think if, what's his name, uh, uh, Windsor was in there, we may not have made, uh, well, may not have made it this far. We're not in the playoffs just yet. All right, so there you go. Um, now, if there's anything that you guys think that we can improve on our team, I don't think I want to do anything, but again, I'll just show you guys the lineups, all right? Obviously, if we want to improve our chances, Pulock and Jones have got to go, but I thought that was the plan, so I'm going to leave it, like, right here. You guys, what do you want to do with Jones and Pulock? Do we stick with the plan, let them play, and just stick to our guns? Or do you want to try and have a good playoff team this year, and that automatically means Jones and Pulock get sent down, and you trade for two top six defensemen, two defensive defensemen with good uh, penalty kill ratings, right? That would obviously help our team out, obviously. So you guys can make that call. Jones or Pulock or uh, veterans? Let me know. And everywhere else, I'm pretty sure we can just leave. Yeah, so it's just the two top six defensemen. Should we get them? All right, uh, from the trade deadline. So we're going to leave it right there. And, oh, actually, AHL team uh, looking pretty good. 28, 16, and 7. Clint Windsor's got 28 wins. Very nice. And uh, I just forget, do we have any draft picks of this year, this uh, first-round draft picks? I'm pretty sure we do. I think I traded for some. 
Yeah, I got one. New Jersey. Oh, yeah. I traded away ours. We have New Jersey's and uh, Detroit. Detroit doesn't look like it's too good, but New Jersey, it said it was pretty good. Hang on. Let's just check this out. Uh, uh, New Jersey. Look at that. New Jersey's in dead last. Oh, my God. Once again. Amazing uh, trades here by GM Superb, man. Looks like he's going to get another first overall pick. All right. So, New Jersey and Detroit is in a playoff position. So, that really doesn't matter. But pretty good. All right. Looks like we're going to have a top five pick at least right there. So, I'm going to leave it right there with you guys. What should we do about this team? And I will see you guys in the next video.